So apparently, if you're a famous person, and you are not on your Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever, internet thing, talking about the protests, and saying Black Lives Matter, then, then apparently you're racist, and you don't like blacks, and that's why you're not saying anything. Really? Why are so many people have to assume this shit? No famous person has to say shit on their social media about the protesting and the Black Lives Matter. Just because they say nothing doesn't mean they don't, you know, that they are racist or whatever. And I'm especially talking about Hanson. Leave them alone. Especially Zach. Zach didn't do anything wrong for you to sit there and go, Oh, Zach put the pants in and says, don't let go. He was making fun of the viruses and people were dying. For all you Hanson fans that stalk them like crazy and I don't, I, I just happen to see a comment. Zach put a comment up there and says, Honestly, you don't get the jump. And honestly, you, you don't, you know, go on TikTok or anything like that. Because on TikTok, people were trying to get the virus on purpose to see if they could get it by licking things that they said could carry the virus. So that's why he made that joke. Do your research before you get mad at somebody for posting something it's like no matter what someone posts on on social media y'all have to get pissy with it and have to have, one person has to have some kind of hate towards it i understand why hansen's not saying shit about the protesting and the black lives matter bullshit and i'm not calling it bullshit as in bullshit as in i'm i don't care because i do care i'm just tired of hearing about it um, but I understand how frustrated you guys are getting at. And this one girl was like, you don't see white people getting hurt. You only see blacks. I saw a video that you must have missed of seeing where a white cop had his knee on a white person trying to handcuff them on his neck. And people were screaming, get your fucking knee off his neck. Get your fucking knee off his neck. And he refused to do it. Then the other cop that was helping him grabbed his knee and moved it off his fucking neck. So, yeah, white people get it too. You just don't see it that often because a lot of people ain't filming that. Why are they filming when black people mistreated? I don't know. But I said something on my face, personal Facebook about, about how I feel about the protesting and and the Black Lives Matter matter because they do matter everybody matters and if you even say everybody matters no matter what colors then they come at you and go you don't understand you don't get it no you're the one who don't get it because when we say everybody matters lives matter we're talking about being equal But I know I'm probably going to get people saying shit in the comments, telling me how wrong I'm saying, and blah, 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 whatever. You can say what you want. But you say hate, but if you're hating or being mean, I don't play like all these other YouTubers. I don't leave those comments up. No, 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 no. I delete. And if you keep doing it three times, three strikes, you're out. You get blocked from me. And then you're getting all pissy that anytime you guys say something to Hanson about it or whatever, you get blocked. Like this one bitch, um, she said that this Brandon wet movie won, if you know who he is. And I'm not going to get into the whole cool dude or wet movie won fight thing because I don't give a shit. 
Yes, they're fighting over something stupid. Sean is believing one thing. Brandon's believing another. Sean is stalking Brandon and watching every video. Brandon doesn't have time to watch Sean's video because he likes to hang out with his family. And all Sean is is taking Brandon selling all of his DVDs as in he wants to go digital when that's not true. And he was also saying that Brandon is watching his, his live streams, clipping certain things and putting it in his videos, making it seem like and saying that he's saying mean things. If, you, if you're stalking him, Sean, you would know damn well what the fuck he said and you're making shit up. You know damn well he said that people are Instagramming him clips and and certain things that you're saying or telling him certain things that you're saying so he's just going by what fans are telling him when really fans could be lying to get you guys to fight because they like the drama. That's all I'm going to say about that one. But this one bitch was like, I bought one of Brandon's DVDs, and then he blocked me. The only mean thing I've ever said to him was, don't put the movies on the ground. Okay, what's wrong with him putting movies on the ground? I don't see the big deal with putting movies on the ground. I do it all the time at my house. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah, and then, so then they're saying that Zach, I haven't went to Instagram yet, but I'll probably do it after this video. That he uh, disabled comments and that he's deleting people's comments and blocking people. Well, if you're going to say mean shit, of course he's going to ban you. If you get banned, you get banned. So what? They don't care that you've been a fan since 1997. If you're going to be mean to them, bye, Felicia. And the only thing I agree with them about is Hanson only giving a shit about the members only. They're always doing things for members only. They did a broadcast for members only because we couldn't do Hanson Day this year. They always make music, EP music, for just members only. And that's not fair. I'm sorry that one... Uh, your other fans who's not members in the band are not diehard fans enough to waste 40 bucks and say fuck my bills that I need to pay fuck if I'm homeless I gotta join this members only uh, Facebook or not Facebook group page members only club or else Hanson's not gonna give me the time of day and if I tell Hanson I'm homeless because I wasted my 40 bucks to be a member over paying, paying my car bill or paying my house bill or whatever. They're going to be like, yay! Now that's just an example to say. But Hanson only cares about the members and only, and it's like, dude, you got a lot of poor fans out there and a lot of other fans that ain't a member of, of the club or whatever you want to call it fan club and and yet you don't give them one ounce of time a day all you do is go here's an album three years later here's another album but yet you've done EPs after EPs of CDs well how can we support you help you out you know and then they make a video or make it apparently they made a t-shirt because I don't keep up with Hanson.net. I just don't got time. But apparently they made a t-shirt for quarantine called Corn Stream. Because they've been going live streaming and singing music. Which I haven't seen it live. I've only seen Ike's. I don't know why it's not showing up. I, anyways. On Instagram. And so they're selling shirts. And the bitch is bitching about that. Going, oh my god. Why are you? Why are you trying to get money from us? Why don't you use the money that you get from these shirts and do the right thing and donate it to a charity to help save these people that have the quarantine? 
just because it doesn't say it's for charity doesn't mean they're not doing it for charity you can't assume without proof where's the proof that that they're keeping all the money for themselves well they have done a lot for people doesn't Taylor do the the food drive thing like come on and Taylor has been Instagramming about the protesting he did the blackout thing and then he wrote something about prayer or something I don't know I don't keep up and then he so why are you guys bitching and complaining about them not saying anything oh they're not they have tons of black fans out there and they know it and we always hug them and did it so what the fuck is remote so why aren't they giving us the time of day and just speak up all they have to do is go on there and scream and, and just do hashtag black black lives matter that's all they got to do and then we will love them forever well you know what no they don't have to go on there and scream and say black lives matter just to make you happy they don't have to say that if they don't want to just because they don't say it doesn't mean they don't believe in it and I'm not losing my voice by the way by the way when I'm talking I just need to get a drink and I just haven't done it yet because I wanted to make this video real quick before I forget I know this video is going to be a long one but leave Hanson alone they didn't do anything to you and I'm out later haters because you bitches wouldn't back off and leave them alone, they finally said something. Are you happy now?